Hello and welcome to a new series on my channel, Songs I Love. Um, I know that's probably as generic of a title as it could get. But you know, there are a number of songs that I've come to love uh, in the recent past, you know, within the last 10 years or so. Um, and I discovered them pretty late, uh, which I of course regret, you know, I wish I'd heard them earlier. So I thought it would be nice to uh, share a few things about each of these songs that I have particularly come to appreciate, you know, things that stood out to me. So the first song I want to talk about in the series is called Ini Oru Tollayu Millai. It's from this film called O oh Andha uh, And to my knowledge, uh, the movie hasn't released yet. I think it was supposed to release in 2018 or something. Um, it's uh, directed by James Vasanthan, uh, the music director James Vasanthan. And of course, the music is also by him. Um, and the cast is very interesting. Uh, it's got these uh, very popular actors from the 80s and the 90s, uh, Suhasini, Kushbu, Radhika and uh, Urvashi. So, uh, and what is even more interesting is that each of them is supposed to be reprising uh, uh, an iconic role that they played, uh, you know, in the past. So, for example, Suhasini is supposed to be playing Sindhu from Sindhu Bhairavi and Urvashi is supposed to be playing Tripuru Sundari from Michael Madana Kamarajan and so on. So that sounds really interesting, right? I, I, would, I would love to check it out uh, whenever it releases. So anyway, this song, Inivuru Tollayu Millai, um, the lyrics are of course by Mahakavi Bharatiyar. Um, so it starts off in Behag um, and then something really interesting happens, which is primarily uh, the point of this video. But before I get into that, I have to say something about the singers, right? So it starts off in the voice of Kartika Vaidyanathan. Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm a big fan of hers. Uh, I love her voice and I love how she makes the most complex uh, things seem so simple. She's got this really, you know, buttery, silken voice uh, and she's done a fabulous job with this song. So, uh, it starts off like this. So, uh, you know, gorgeous Behag. And then the second half of the song is sung by the one and only legendary Chitrama. And what happens there is that Behag morphs into Sindhu Bhairavi. And this is how the transition happens. Becomes So we have a very cool Gravedam uh, right there. Um, and so in the second half, you know, after exploring uh, Sindhu Bhairavi to its fullest, uh, in the end as a culmination, so the two ragas come together, the two singers come together, uh, and there's a lot of complex, you know, swara singing and all of that. Um, and I mean, the whole package is just, you know, it, it's just so well done, you know, all, all aspects of it. Uh, and you really should check it out if you haven't. I'll link the song in the description below. So I think in the first half of the song, uh, landing on that ga, I think landing on that ga was deliberate because if you take the ga of Beha Gessa, you get Sindhu Bhairavi. So, um, this uh, Sindhu Bhairavi uh, and Behag connection is really interesting, right? So, when we talk about Grihabedam, and this is a point that I believe I've mentioned, uh, you know, uh, a few times in my earlier uh, lesson on Grihabedam series as well. So, if, you, if we just take scales uh, where the notes are just monotonically increasing or decreasing, Grihabedam is not as exciting. Right? So, to take a very mundane example, uh, Mohanam to Hindolam or Shuddha Danyasi, it's very straightforward, right? So, um, 
if you have you know the scale you shift the tonic and obviously like of course you're going to get a new scale but it's all the more uh, interesting when it happens with ragas that are not just your plain old uh, you know ascending and descending uh, scales where there are vakra or zigzag patterns and that's the case with sindhubairavi and behag right um, so it, it's really fascinating when phrases of one fit with phrases of the other like hand and glove uh, because it's i mean it it didn't have to be that way right it's not it's not necessary so it's it's a very intriguing coincidence when that happens so uh, i first learned of this uh, relationship between sindhu bhairavi and behag um, from a video by uh, prince rama verma and this was i think more than 15 16 years ago so if, if that's still around on youtube i'll be sure to link that as well and i remember you know being mind blown when i first uh, encountered this relationship and of course there's the very famous uh, jati swaram by sri lal gudi jayaraman Uh, where sin where he explores the relationship between sindhu bhairavi and a lot of other ragas behag is one of them but there's also mohan kalyani and uh, tilang and you know other ragas uh, so again if i find a, a link to that i'll add that as well in the description so uh, i'll stop there for the first video in the series and uh, i'll be back with uh, more songs that i love see you next time